Hi, Rich Bizzano here from Digitally Feelers. And once again, it's time for Copy That Thursday. And who are you going to call? It's Ghostbusters Day. So let's get started. So I pulled this in from the internet. Um, I, look, I just Googled Ghostbusters, and that's what I, that came up with. You can use any one you want. The first thing I'm going to do is lock this layer so that nothing moves. Now let's start out with the donut because we want to create this round thing right here. So I'm just going to select the donut and I'm not sure if it's an exact circle, but I'll hold shift just to see. I'm going to keep holding shift and I think it's actually pretty good. It is an exact circle. So that's good, but the center is the wrong size. So with the shape tools on top, there's a context bar and I can look for a hole radius and I will just select that and make it bigger and try and get it to where that hole would be. And that looks about right. And I could, I guess I will, I'll color it the same color red. So I'll just copy that red and say, do that. So that's easy enough. The next thing that's very easy is just open the shape tool again and go to rectangle create a rectangle. I am going to change the color temporarily just so I can see the one underneath. And I'm going to see if I can get that lined up with that. And if I lower the opacity, I could see I can move down. I'm using my arrow keys. And if that's a little off, I can move that just like that and make sure this is within the circle. All right, I will bring that back up, the opacity, and turn that one back to red. And now I'll take this one plus the one underneath, I'm holding shift, and I'll go to layer, geometry, add, and now it's one piece. So I am going to hide that for now, and we are going to work on this in three parts. So maybe I'll do the face first. Let's just do the face because that's the easiest part. And then the rest I'm going to show you how to do with a pen tool. So the face is very simple. Um, another ellipse tool. Let's go like that. A little bit of a curve and maybe down. We're just trying to get it close to where we want it to be. We are going to turn that to black. There are no outlines on this. Once again, I'll just copy and paste this and I'll move this up here. And for this one, I'm going to change the color just so we can see what we're working on. And I will also lower the opacity. So first we want to get the outer shape. And I think we got to turn that a little bit like that. Let's go this way, that way. So that's kind of the outer shape and that looks okay. So now we're going to convert it to curves. I'm going to get a real close up and I'm going to take the node tool and I'm going to add a node right there, add another node here, but this node I'm going on top here, I'm going to convert it to a sharp node. So I can just move that one like that. And then what I'll do is I'll curve this, pull this one out and I'll pull this handle out a little and I might even pull this a little out and that looks pretty good so let's change that to black and bring the opacity back up and then I'll take that and I'll duplicate it and now we'll use the crescent tool and we do something like that curve it around let's give it a different color and what we'll do here is first we'll bring the ends up and over close to here, just like that. And then on top on the context bar, let's see, I don't know what left or right. Let's just try it. There we go. And we'll bring that in. And I think this has to be in just a little bit more. All this pixelation on the bottom one is because it is not a vector piece. We are doing a vector piece, so we don't need that pixelation. We won't end up seeing that. Eyebrows are going to be a little bit different. What I'm going to do with the eyebrows is I am going to just take this pen 
and go like that. And then I am going to stroke it with black. Actually, for now, I think I'll stroke it with a different color just to see where we're at. And I want to make sure that in the stroke right here, we should always scale with object just so we know when we scale it. But in the stroke down here, it says pressure. And what you can do with pressure, let me move this over. In the stroke with pressure, you can change you see how it goes at the same time? We don't want it to do that. So what you can do is you can hold your option key and move one side or the other, and you'll see what happens here. So one side is narrower than the other, so all we have to do is raise the stroke to where we think it should be, and maybe then move the node like that, and maybe like that. And maybe even a little thicker. Let me see. Not too thick. I don't want it too thick, so let's see. So what we could also do is curve the thickness like that. So it's that's pretty close. And I'm okay with that. And now we turn that black. And I'll duplicate that. Control Command J. That's the whole face, and I'm going to select all of these and group them, control or command G, and call it face. F-A-C-E, and there we go. So the ghost itself, we're gonna use with the pen tool. So all you need to do is take the pen, let's get really close, and let's see where we wanna start. Let's start here. Let's go here. I'm gonna to go to here. And I'll curve all those later. I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to follow this around, just like this. And I'd say like there, and maybe there. I would go here. And I'm going to speed this part up. OK, so now that you saw what I did, I, I speeded it up. I just went. Uh, I just kept clicking one at a time. I was doing straight lines. So now if you t go back to the node tool, you can just drag these into place. And as long as you only did like, a, you have to be careful how much of a circle you are clicking on. You don't want to click on a complete half a circle because that's a problem. I'd say a quarter of a circle, a quarter of a curve as opposed to a full circle helps you out a lot. And I can move these nodes just like that if I want to. A little curve there and there and you can see what I'm doing here I'm gonna get close up I'm gonna pull this one down move this one out they get very tight here but it still works and this one's on a curve and you can see this is very easy it, it, you don't have to, you could do it with the handles right from the start but since these are beginner tutorials this is a very simple way of working with the pen and until you learn to use the handles really well this is really a good way so these two should be almost touching and this one comes out like this and don't worry that I went over this red I'll, I'll fix that later and I'm holding the space bar down as I move my click my mouse and move so I'm sliding over because it's always good to stay close so there we go. And when I do the bottom part, I'm going to speed up this whole section just to make the video quicker so I don't bore you. So now we want, of course, we want to turn that to white. This white, we already have an outline, but we must, we have to remember from before, we don't really want this pressure thing. We could but I don't really want it right now. I'm going to reset so I don't have to worry about that. And I have to make sure scale with image is always selected. And of course we want this face in front of him. So we'll just move that to the top. And now here's a section here that we have a little issue with. So we don't want an outline. So I can't just move these nodes when I'm working with this. Let me get close up here. I am going to go to the node tool and I'm going to tap on a node right here, make a new node right there. 
and I'm going to see this action up on top. Um, it goes, it splits it, it breaks the curve. And when you break a curve, that's what happens. So let me undo that. So all I'm going to do is hit delete and then hit this one, hit delete. And now gently move this to where, whoops, we want to have our showing here. We want to gently move this to where our edge hits. It has to be right there at the edge of the line. We don't want any bump there. And let's see how that looks. And I think it's a little bit off. Let me get closer. Actually, let's go to this outline again. And you see how curved cap is done? I would go straight cap. There we go. So now, now the straight edge is right there. And that works out perfectly. So now that you see how to do that, let's go back to the full picture. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to work on the hand. So I got to hide this. And I'm going to do these very quickly, and then I'll get to the last part with the Ghostbusters itself. That'll be the easiest part of the whole thing. But I'm going to work on the hand first. So I will speed this all up. So this time, I didn't even close it, which I probably shouldn't have closed the first one, but I was trying to get a feel because even if it's open, you can create... Just like that, you can create white out of it. So what I'm going to do now is, same as before. And then the last part, the bottom half is, we'll just hide the hand. And now let's go, let's do the bottom part. Bottom part's so simple. There we go. So all you need for the bottom part is this curve right here. And that's the only thing that really counts. And why do you think that is? I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to turn that to white and then turn on the circle and it's under the circle. So now we turn on the hand and it's over the hand. So everything is on. Let's take a look at what we got. And there's our Ghostbusters. Now I searched for a font on Google for Ghostbusters. The font has the Ghostbuster font. So I just shows the Ghostbuster font, except it's a little opposite of this. So I'll show you what I mean there. I'm going to bring this close and I'm going to type Ghostbusters. Of course, it's in the wrong color. <laughs> so I'll type that white. There we go. And I'm going to type Ghostbusters and I just downloaded the font. There it is, Ghostbusters. And so I am going to try and match these up. I'm just going to go like this and like this and i think that's pretty close to where we need to be that's about right except i don't like i didn't like this part right here because there's a see-through because of font and it's also facing the other way so what i'm going to do remember we've created a vector so let's go let's take all of this now in fact i'll unlock everything i'm going to take all of this and move it to one side like that. Then I'm gonna lock the original again. And I'm going to take all of this except for the Ghostbusters and group it. Actually, I forgot to make this outline and we didn't do that. So let's follow this outline. And I, I think I could even use magnet on there. So I just wanna make this. And we gotta put it underneath. We're going to add a new layer and I'm going to fill that layer with black. There we go. So now I will put that right in here too. So now that we have this group, we could take this group and move it over just like that. And that's pretty good. So now we take our Ghostbusters, put it where we want it to be. And now I can duplicate this group. Control or Command J. I'll get rid of the background. And now with that duplicated group, I could shrink it down to whatever size I want because it's a vector and it did and all our outline set scale with image, it should be no problem. 
and there we go so I'm going to replace this I got to put that right on top of the Ghostbusters I'll replace that so the old Ghostbuster part shows so what I what I'm planning on doing is I have to get rid of the underneath one so I'll go to the text tool and I'll go back one to get rid of that because it's a font and I'll do a space and since the space is not enough I'm going to select the space plus the next one actually this way and then I'll go up to the character tool on the positioning and I'm going to just up click the I'm going up with the arrow right here until I feel it's where I want it to be and I think that looks pretty good so let's get a let's get a distance shot so let's give this the finishing touches let's just pick a, a font and go up here in white and I think that's looking pretty good so who are you going to call Ghostbusters? So that's another episode of Copy That Thursday. And I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.